In this video, I'll present a filtering technique in Origin that allows for multiple views of the same data set based on different criteria. Along the way, I'll show the new data slicer feature introduced in 2021B. I'll start by importing a data set of COVID-19 cases prepared by a colleague. I'll select a data set that extends from September 1st, 2020 to January 31st, 2021 the period before vaccination started and took off. I know the Excel file contains column long names. The file contains total case data for four countries. I want to create separate graphs of each country. So I'll start by placing a filter on the location column and initializing it to one of the countries. Next, I'll copy the two columns I'm going to use for plotting into a new workbook. In the Copy Columns to dialog, I'll accept the defaults. The copied columns inherit the filters from the source worksheet. But in order to allow the new worksheet to have its own filtered values, I need to lock the filters to this sheet. From the Copy Columns lock icon, I'll select Worksheet Filters Lock. Next, using a predefined graph template, I'll create an area plot of the data in this worksheet. I'll add a data slicer to the graph, and I'll show you how it works in a minute. Now I'll set the title to be the value of the filtered country. Watch as I get the value from the filter label row in the worksheet. Finally, I'll add the graph as a sheet to the workbook. This creates a self-contained unit. And now I'll duplicate the workbook with the embedded graph three times, giving me a total of four new workbooks, one for each country of interest. I'll go to a graph and change the country being plotted. The data slicer is a graph-based shortcut to the filter in the worksheet. It allows me to focus on the graph without having to go back to the worksheet. I'll repeat this action until I have a graph for each of the four countries. Observe as I change the country with the data slicer that the graph title updates. Now I'll merge all four graphs into one, automatically updating the layout. By automatically updating, I mean that if the graphs change, so will the layout. Finally, I'll modify the data connector source to import another Excel file containing total case data starting in February 2021. The layout automatically updates to reflect the lowering case rates as the vaccination period kicks in. That's it for this video. Thank you for watching.